wondering uh, what happens in a sheep hunt, BC, Northern BC. Can I take a look at the gear we packed? A couple lawn chairs, axe, bare barrel with some food, more important stuff, beer, or firearms, or packs, um, extra duffel pack, and a couple other barrels, Clark Allen barrels that uh, we put stuff in. If you're wondering what plane we're on, that's where we're taking. We're out here at uh, in northern BC. Aaron's having a little leftover A and W. Good Canadian meal. Stay tuned on our flight. We'll have some more footage for you. Aaron and Jay here, and uh, when we were planning out our sheep hunt this year, we we looked a lot online to find out what guys are packing and not packing into their into their uh, trip, and uh, we wanted to you know give you. A, basically a tutorial overview of what we packed. Um, starting off with electronics, we use this uh, Garmin InReach this year. Uh, like it better than the Spot X. Had Spot X last year. Like it because, you know, good GPS, weather reports, uh, you can message out uh, all around. Pretty happy with that device. Uh, also happy with this charger, Lavor charger. I researched it quite a bit online solar and good battery bank lasts us the whole week couldn't believe it so we were pretty happy with that the g7 rangefinder um, we do shoot some distances and we found that was useful especially on different inclinations and elevation all that calculates a number of things for you also had a bunch of battery backups so just standard pocket juice, Duracell, chargers. Um, and then what we did is we grabbed a five gallon pail, Home Depot or wherever, and uh, some of the stuff is at camp, some of it goes into our pack, but I'm just showing you what we what we had inside our overall kit. Um, a couple of these handy little pouches that you can put your battery charger in and your cables, keep them all nice. Knives, we've got a Havlon with extra blades that we left down here at camp. Um, I like the Gerbers. So the Gerber Leatherman, that was handy. I kept it at camp. I didn't um, use it up in the mountain. Um, I took this Bear Grylls Gerber knife. I, it's nice and light, works for me. I also have a skinning knife, small little buck knife like this. That's all I need. So I took those two up the mountain with me. Ammo. So I'll show you the guns in a minute, but Aaron and I both shoot 308 Tika T3s. They're about five and a half pounds. Uh, we shoot the Nauser 168 grain, did hand loads. So we each carried 14 bullets up and uh, we have some stored back at camp. Zap straps. I argued to Aaron why uh, we would need these, but it turns out I needed it for my pack to repair. Uh, electrical tape, took that up the mountain with me, needed it. Little black gloves for skinning, caping. If you're concerned about bears, jingle bears, we've got uh, that with some fishing line to tie around your camp. And we did get busted into the first night we were here at our base camp, so strange things. And we were alerted. Crib board, <laughs> we'll have some fun tonight. Uh, bug spray, sun lotion. That kind of stuff stayed down here at the camp. Life straw, water bottles. I am in love with this. Jet boil. This is a smaller size. Um, we had two, one jump, jumbo can, one small can. I would recommend taking two jumbo cans up the mountain. And then we left a bunch of other cans down here. Rope, just gives you an idea, just some boating rope. I think I got a couple hundred feet of this for tow hanging up a number of things up around the camp. And then I have the paracord. Um, I took paracord and a thicker one of these up to the top with myself. Fire starting kit, some of the you know, little fire burning wedges that they sell, cubes as well. Uh, fireproof, water, water wind proof uh, matches. These are handy. A little bit of Zippo fluid for the fire down at base camp. Fishing rod. <laughs> Fishing rod and uh, flies. 
So we're gonna try a little fishing a little bit later because it's got some time to kill. I am in love with this saw, pocket chainsaw, world's fastest cutting pocket saw. I'll show you how it works a little bit later. Look for cutting wood around camp. Great little thing. You put that into the pack. Again, here's some more uh, different type of rope. Prusik knots for your, take your little paracord and uh, make some prusik knots for tightening down your tent and your uh, tarp. Cleaning cloth. Little hand saw. I brought two just to try them out. Didn't use this one yet, but it's uh, again just a little hand saw you can pick up. Little things. Medical kit. That goes in there. Another hand saw. So we like saws. And try everything out. I like it. Got little limbs, little projects, bushcraft type stuff. And we got charcoal pills. Activated charcoal pills in case we get sick. Some Advil because our bones are getting old and sore. Ziploc bags, the things we're in, usually tighten everything up with a Ziploc bag. Camp towel. When you get back, you want to dry off. Get all your bits and pieces. Cleaning rod, some patches for the guns. You never know. Toiletry, a little bar of soap, a little medical pack. I've got one, Aaron's got one. My fire starting pack, I always carry with me wherever I go is those wind and waterproof uh, matches and then I have a candle. Okay, almost used it this week. Very cold up there. Flint, just in case it totally run out. Carried a bug net with me. You know what? I used it. I'm a wuss, whatever. Knife sharpener. An outdoor edge. I just use this because um, it's small and compact. Extra clip. Some of these Roctane energy gels. We did carry some of these up there with us. Bear spray. Flashlight. Ace beam. This is a really good flashlight. Uh, you'd be really happy with this. Just make sure you flip the battery um, over when you're hiking because sometimes it does turn on. Uh, so I turn on at night. And then we have a Phoenix headlamp. We like those. We've used this two years in a row now. A little this is a little bait box I turned into a medical supply, so if you can take a look at it there. I've got uh, activated charcoal, Advil, I use most of those already. Small mini toothbrush. <coughs> Just used quite a bit of that toothpaste up, squished it in, cut my toothbrush down for like that. A uh, little bit of pill box with Vaseline for chafing and a little bit of soap in here and a little bit of sunscreen in this mac makeup well, dish you can steal some of those from someone you know wind finder i use that wind detector uh compass this is a silva compass and uh again Good to always carry some basics. Hunting license, I put it in this little seal pack. Five gallon pail here at camp. Two. Get some more bug spray, and then Aaron put in our caping salt inside here. And that's what we have in our camp. So uh, we also want to show you what our packs look like. Roughly uh, just over 100 liter Tatanka uh, pack. You probably saw some of the videos. Um, good external frame. I liked it. Uh, had no problems except this trip did bust a stitch, so we had to zap strap and tape it. So what you do? What do you do when things happen, right? And then Aaron has this approximately about the same amount of liters Mystery Ranch Marshall pack. Lots of pockets. You have to go rooting through your bag. I kind of liked it. Um, over my bags, I was rooting through lots of things, but I mean, either either bag is good. Um, 
was questioning the durability of this frame, but it impressed me. Wow. And most important, trekking poles. These are black diamond poles, alpine carbon uh, that I bought off of Amazon. And you know what? You'll see in the videos, you need these. Without it, without a doubt, you need poles. We wanted to show you which firearms we brought on the hunt this year. Uh, we've got Tika T3s matching, 308 caliber. Night Force 5.5 by 22 power, tactical. And Aaron is shooting the same gun, just uh, uses a Swarovski 3.5 by 28 tactical. We did tune our guns in at the Protec range with Pat Smith and Penticton there. Real important you do that before a big hunt. You know where you're shooting. You know your um, elevation. You know your wind. You know where that gun shoots. We built charts. You can see my little chart here for our guns. Okay, show us our range. And you know, funny without this. Uh, G7 and knowing your range and your range card we ranged one sheep and it was three and a half minutes lower than what my chart read because this was done at 2200 feet and this was at 7,000 feet so give you an idea of what you have to look for when you're out in the field real important you know know your dope and uh, we like to take time to thank our friends down at Italian Sporting Goods even brought a bag. <laughs> Dick and Gang, also the guys down at Reliable uh, for helping us get supplies this year. I mean, also we went to a variety of other stores to get what we needed, but hope that helps you out. If you got any comments or um, tips for us, what to pack, how to pack, uh, we'd love to hear that back from you. And I hope the video is helpful um, so that you're planning your next trip, you got an idea what to pack. And I use this pack set up pretty much identical for elk hunting uh, a little bit less for deer hunting because I'm usually not gone remotely for a deer hunt but uh, elk and sheep uh, it's good to know what to pack how to pack it and uh, what you're in for until we talk to you next time Aaron and Jay signing out